Now, in terms of this uh, black-brown conflict that you told Harry O that you wanted to create a movement for, um, my first question is, what did you think of Tiger's video, Ay Carambe, Ay Caramba, where it looked like he was was uh, focusing on Mexican stereotypes, even though some of them are, are not even Mexican, but Latino stereotypes from a, from an LA guy that's not Latino at all. Well, am I honest? And this is my opinion. We in America, everybody's entitled to one. My honest opinion is, is I feel like Tiger didn't intentionally do that. You know, because Tiger doesn't, Tiger, Tiger's not in need for, you know, bad press. You know what I mean? Like, some people just do shit because they, they, they need, they dying off, they falling off, so they trying to, you know, get some, you know, traction back, you know, or some go viral again. You know, that's what it is, go viral. But I feel like he did it with intent to, like, make a song, you know, about, like, you know, Spanish stuff, you know, Spanish vibe. But I feel like that goes back to what I said earlier. He's ignorant to the Mexican culture. You know what I mean? So he's not like me where I live like this. I do this. So I know what is offensive to them. And I know what would come off offensive and what wouldn't come off offensive. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? So basically, I feel like he, he's ignorant to the, the culture. He was just in that moment, in that instant. And I feel like he he shouldn't take the blame you know, fully for that. You know what I'm saying? Because... Somebody on his team should have fucking said, like, hey, man, this shit looks, you know, like who literally f went and authorized that? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Or I could be wrong. Maybe he was like, you know what? I paid for the video. This is how I want it. Blah, 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 blah. But my opinion is, is I feel like he didn't do that intentionally. I don't feel like he was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to just go out and be racist. And let me just, you know, fuck with everybody and, and marry, make everybody. I don't think he did that. I think his intent was to, you know, show, pay a little tribute to, you know, the, uh, the Mexican culture because he has a really huge Mexican fan base and he knows that. So I feel like he was just trying to do that, but I feel like he went about it the wrong way. That's what I feel. What about just like having the tortilla chips falling out the sky and certain other things? Don't you think that the average person would say, this shit is a little offensive, <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. But at this point, like, you got to think. Like, some people, like I said, it just goes back always to his ignorance. You know, like that. To them, they party and they having fun. Hey, we just, we, we go to a party, people will have a Mexican-themed party. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not condoning what he did. But what I'm saying is I feel like he didn't have that you know, intention to say, hey, you know what, I'm gonna throw some fucking tortillas and and offend everybody. I feel like he was just, you know, he just showed up to do his thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, he has a team probably that has, hey, let's be creative, guys. Cause me, I'm gonna do a music video, right? But I'm not gonna be the one that's sitting here planning everything. That's, you can get a team for that. You know what I'm saying? So somebody on his team need to be fired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After one like that, you know, but. I feel like, or, you know, it's just a misunderstanding. It's just due to his own ignorance. You know, me, if, obviously, if I see some shit that's, you know, excuse my language, if I see some stuff that's um, offensive, I'm going to call it out. That's, hey, that's offensive. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just let it fly, but that's because I know, hey, Mexicans don't like when you call them this, or Mexicans don't like, like, you know, or this or, or different things, you know, but I just, like I said, I think it's due to his own ignorance and his lack of knowledge of the true cultural aspects of, you know, the Mexican culture. Now, now in terms of the, the black-brown divide here in Los Angeles County, I think that type of video doesn't necessarily help because there were a whole bunch of Latinos on YouTube condemning Taiga um, what is your, first of all, explain to the people what the black-brown issue is in Los Angeles and what are your hopes in terms of these 
I don't well, want to say two communities because the brown community is not really one community because you got Mexicans over there, but then you got your El Salvadorans over here you, that live with, amongst other Central Americans. It gets really complex. So explain well, to me. Well, see, the thing is, is when you get that, see, you understand about the Salvadorans, and all, but a lot of a lot of people out here, my color, don't understand that they see somebody that's speaking Spanish and automatically think that they're Mexican or Mexican. As they say, Mexican. It's in, Mexican. It's in Mexican. Yeah. You now, know? Let me ask you real quick. Do you think black people say Mexican on purpose or it's become a habit? It's a habit. That's the normal way it's to like say It's like how people say mayonnaise. It ain't even mayonnaise. It's mayo nice. It's mayo. Why is it mayonnaise? It's not mayonnaise. Yeah. It's just how the way we say it. Because some Mexicans be offended. Like, you just call me messy. Yeah, yeah. Mexican. That's yeah. not It's not how you say it. It's mex. Mex. It's an X. So it's a Mexican. So, Mexican. So, yeah, people, they just say, oh, it's Mexican. Oh, Mexican. No, that's a Salvadorian, or that is a Guatemalan. And those different cultures and, and um, um, ethnicities, they also get offended when you call them. They, I'm not no Mexican. It's like if you call a, a Japanese person Chinese, they don't get offended. You know? That's just being closed-minded and saying, oh, well, they all look alike. You know? And it's not true. You can, I, can, I can tell them apart. <laughs> But it's because I know. But um, as far as like the issue is, I really believe, and this is my opinion once again, that the issue between blacks and browns is not really like a really. It's, it really has to do pretty much with the stuff that's being shared on social media. You know these videos that's circling that go viral that people continue to share. And I think it also has to do with it's a it's a it's a gang issue. It's a gang issue. That's what it is. It's a gang issue. The Southsiders are typically the Southsiders, the Sureños and the Norteños. Those are the Mexican gangs, Hispanic gangs. Latino games. Now we're not talking about music when we say Norteños now. Yeah, we're, we're not talking about, about music. Yeah. See, now there's there's a difference. See, I sing Norteño music, but I'm not talking about no gang Norteño. Norteño is, is northern. Sureño is southern. So you have the Norteños and the Sureños, and then you have, you know, the, the black gangs. You know what I'm saying? And that's where the brown stuff, you know, black and brown tension, is, 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 that's where it's is the root of it, you know what I'm saying? Because it's the politics, the gang politics. The gang politics, and it's the freaking, they, they're institutionalized, you know what I'm saying? So they're thinking, you know, the way that they think. Then they gonna go about life the way that they think and the way that they've lived, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's, that's where the issue is. That's where the issue really, really, honestly really is. I've been thinking about that because trying to tackle this problem between the blacks and the browns, you you gotta find where the root of it is. And honestly, like a lot of paisas, they fuck with black people. It's the gang members that don't. It's the gang members. Well, in prison, the northern Mexicans and the blacks mess around with each other. Yeah. They're cool. It's just the southern Mexicans and the blacks aren't cool. Mm -hmm. So. With that being said, it's still a gang issue. It's a gang issue. There's no way around it. It's not like, like, honestly, I've never been to prison. I don't plan on going to prison. So people always ask me, hey man, when you, you go to jail, man, who you gonna roll with, man? You gonna, you gonna roll with the blacks? Or are you gonna roll with the paisas? Or are you gonna roll with the, oh, you know, you ain't gonna roll with the, I don't sing, I'm, I don't, I don't sing like Chicano stuff. So, so if you go, it, it would probably either be with the, the, uh, the the paisas, you ain't gonna be a homie. You are gonna be a paisa or a black? They always ask me that. Well, always. You can be a resident Mexican. Resident meaning you're not in the gang, but you identify with Mexican. <laughs> they call them residents. <laughs> nah, I'm straight. I, I don't plan on going there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they ask me that. You know, and I'm like, man, what kind of fucking question is that? Like, why would I even be thinking about going to jail, nigga? Like, like you already starting off wrong right there, bro. Like, ask me something else, you know what I'm saying? But it's funny that people really ask me, like, nah, man, you really, I really want to know, like, who you going to roll with? And I'm like, damn, like, 
it really is that serious? But it's because that lifestyle, it's that shit ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? So you get out and you're on the streets, you gotta hold up to what you've been holding up in there. You know what I'm saying? So that's where the tension is, bro. It's between it's it's the politics and it's the institutional how they got us programmed. You know what I'm saying? 